I'm glad to see you again and that you've come back to learn some more about frogs. Today we're going to be learning how to label the parts of a frog. So here's my little frog right here. What should I name him, I wonder? He looks like a, a Fred. What do you think, Fred? Hey Fred, what's up? How you doing? Good to meet you. So Fred and I are going to be working on labeling his body parts. So let's take a look at this frog right here. There's some things that we could guess really easily. Like, look at this. That is what? That's his eye, because that eye and our eyes kind of look alike. So I'm going to look for the word eye. The word eye is spelled E-Y-E. -E. Now, if you're working with me at home, you should have a worksheet that has a frog in the middle of it, and then there are some spots where you can write the words in. Mom and Dad will have to help you with that part, but we're just gonna work on right now labeling the parts of the frog. There's his eye, right there. I'm going to put that label close to his eye so that you can tell that that's where his eye is. Okay, so next, let's think. What are some things that we know? Well, we know that they have a mouth, like we do, right? And look at this mouth. His mouth is very wide, and he can open his mouth very wide, and he has a very long, sticky tongue. So we're going to be looking for the word mouth. The word mouth, let's think about that, mouth. When you say the word mouth, what is the first sound you hear in that word? Mouth. We hear the sound mmm. What letter says the mmm sound? Yes. M. So let's go ahead and put it on. This is the word mouth. M-O-U-T-H. Mouth. I'm going to glue it right here. That's close to his mouth. This is kind of a word that you're going to need to know. It has to do with the place on our, place on our body that helps us smell. And we smell using our nose. But inside of our nose, right next to our nose, there are two holes. Do you know what those holes are called? They're called nostrils. Nostrils. Let's think real quick. What does nostrils begin with? The sound, oh, I hear it. Do you hear it? Nostrils. What is that sound? It is the N sound. So I have this word right here. Is there an N at the beginning of that word? Yep. Let's look at it together. N-O-S-T-R-I-L-S. -S. Nostrils. The frog nostrils are right there. Do you see them? The little holes right there on the top? Nostrils help it to breathe in air. Don't forget that they have lungs that they breathe in air. All right, let's do this one. This word has a B in front. We know B makes the F sound. This word is belly. Where do you think the frog's belly is? Is it here? No. Is it here? No. Where is it? It's right there. It's that smooth spot under his belly, under his body right there. And that's where he eats all his yummy worms and flies. They go in there and his stomach digests it. Remember how we talked about our bodies and how we have stomachs that churn and digest and mix up our food so that all the nutrients go into our bodies to help it be strong? Well, that's what happens with a frog too. They have a lot of the same body parts we do. They have lungs, they have a heart, they have stomachs. And so, Something they have that we don't have. Do you know what it is? Webbed feet. We do not have webbed feet, but it'd be kind of cool. Do you remember that book, I Wish That I Had Webbed Feet, that I read? Where the boy said, I wish that I had webbed feet. And then he said, I wish that I had a long, long tail. Do you remember that story we read? Do you wish that you had webbed feet? It seems like he got in trouble with his webbed feet. His mom said, don't come in the house with those webbed feet. But look at him. Can you see? His, actually, his webbed feet are on his back legs. On the front, they're kind of more spread out, but you can kind of see. Let's put it right here, right there. Okay, last thing. This is probably one of the most special parts of the frog. It has the most strong and powerful back legs. Those back legs help it to jump very, very far and climb on the bottom of the muddy um, pond. When they go under it, they can push up and jump up high of, back out of the water. So here are his back legs. This word is legs, L-E-G-S, legs. 
So those are all the parts of the prop. Now, here's the thing. You're gonna need to take your worksheet, print it off, and then you're going to work with your mom and dad to write the names of the body parts in the little boxes next to your frog. When you finish it, show, take a picture and show me because I want to see it. I'm sure it's really amazing. So I hope you guys are having fun today. Go outside and play. Have a great day. I love you. Bye.